water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. That is a saying that goes along with the ocean. But unfortunately, you cannot drink any of the water that is behind me due to the high salt content. But in today's video, I'm gonna actually show you what you can do to actually be able to take the salt water out there, filter it into drinkable water so that you can filter out the mud and be able to survive in case you are stuck in an environment to where you have access to the ocean. So let's begin the video. When trying to find a good suitable place to dig in the sand, to use the sand as a natural water filter for the ocean, you need to determine the tide levels. You don't want it to be too close to the water because then you're going to have a chance of the tides coming in and flooding in your fresh water holes and contaminating your fresh water holes. But you don't want it too far back because then you have to dig extremely deep in order to access the fresh water. So you need to find either a good location unless you're just temporarily getting fresh water and then you'll be able to access your fresh water from there. So let's okay, begin. Okay, everybody, so the first thing you need to do is you need to determine to where the water reaches the highest point. Now, for instance, right here is where the water is stopping at. So you wanna go above that level so you have time to be able to collect fresh water if you need instant access to the water because the tide's gonna move in and out. So throughout your time frame of surviving next to an ocean, you're gonna to have to be digging multiple holes but if you dig close enough to the water, you can access the fresh water a lot faster than normal, therefore allowing yourself to collect fresh water at a quicker rate. So let's begin the digging process. So the first thing you need to do is that you need to have a stick, unless you have a shovel or another form of a tool to be able to dig to the water. And then you begin digging so into the sand. when determining your spot, as you can see the difference between the wetter areas and the somewhat dry areas. And what you wanna do is, is like, if you step in the sand, you can see the moisture in the sand being able to move. So therefore, you know that there's water there and you can be able to access the fresh water from there. So what you then need to do is you need to begin to start digging your hole. So you get your sticks and you start digging. And as you can see already, the water is currently already forming into here flowing from the sands. So once we get our holes out, then we will go. And what you want to do is you want to try to create yourself a wall. Build that wall, guys. Try to create yourself a wall to go around your hole to be able to help try to keep the ocean water out. Because if you can keep the ocean water out, you can use the same source multiple times without actually your water being contaminated. Holy shit, found a clam. Woohoo! And that would be natural seafood if you're not allergic to seafood. welcome back and as you can see i have my hole pretty big and i'm getting my um protective barrier built around it so far the waves have not moved in that much they've been slowly moving in but as you can see the sand is settling around here because the water is filtering through the sand from the top from the ocean and coming into this and the deeper you can get dig your hole the, the more water you're able to collect now all this water here is actually fresh water to drink because it has been filtered out by the sand so what you want to do is dig your hole as deep as possible and then just collect the water and then the only thing left you have to do is filter out the sand and the other settlements within the water and sterilize it with iodine tablets a drop of bleach or even using the sunlight method that i taught you on your previous videos and you will have drinkable water here in the ocean. So, let's see. Okay, in this hole that I dug, which is maybe four foot from the edge of the water distance, 
I can barely taste the salt. It's like if you take a few grains of salt on your food from your thing and you put it to your mouth. It is barely any salt in there. So I would recommend actually digging back maybe six foot or more to actually eliminate all the salt if possible. And um, other than that, guys, um, that is everything that you need to know on how to naturally filter out the salt water from the ocean. So you can be able to collect yourself fresh water. Just remember after this, sterilize the water, get the dirt out, collect only the top, do not collect the settlements. Throw it to your activated charcoal filters if you have any. If you have access to fire, boil it just to kill off any pathogens or anything that could have survived the filtration of the um, ocean water. And other than that, that's how you collect uh, drinkable water from the ocean. So I hope you found this video entertaining and I hope one day that it will help you. Also, another cool thing before I go, actually in the process of me digging out the uh, freaking water, I actually collected some food while you're at it. If you're not allergic to seafood, we've got some, um, I think these are clams. So yeah, so in the process of you digging out water, you're going to also collect yourself some food to be able to survive next to the ocean. So Lotus Operations out, y'all have fun now and uh, stay safe out there.